Eight orcs. Guess what time it is. Time for more Dwarf Fortress. Yeah, hooray. Um, we can, we can just get into it. No need to dawdle. Um, uh, oh, there we go. It does work. Hooray. <laughs> um, I had it open here. Just trying to remind myself what was going on. Last session was a whole thing, wasn't it? Um, that was our throne room, or not our throne room, our, our bathhouse. We screwed up our bathhouse uh, here. Oh, we screwed it up, but then we we Im improved it. Um, it's slightly better, I think, but we broke everything in in the interim. <laughs> so um, our cistern here is refilling after we blew a hole in the bottom of it and flooded the cave. That's all fine, though. It only killed a couple people. Um, we opened up this cave to try to retrieve some people. And it seems okay for the moment. That's actually kind of surprising. We had a forgotten beast down here that was... kicking butt for a while, so there's not as many ant people down here as there would have been otherwise. However... still a little dangerous. And I think... do we still have our... we have not turned on our... What you gonna call it? Our burrow. So I don't know if anyone's down here currently. I'm hoping not. Do I just close the door and hope no one's down here, or do I? Let's do this. I'll turn the burrow on for the moment. We'll see if anyone comes scrambling out of here to get back in before I lock them out. Oh, yep, see, look. There's one. Two? Oh, baby. You got a baby. Okay, yeah, you came down here to get silk? There is so much silk. You do not need silk. From here. Um. Okay, I'm going to assume that's that was the only person. I don't see any more movement. Right. No one else is going to get stuck down here. Our stupid pond. That was quick. Let me guess. Right next to my open door. The Forgotten Beast Axmu Ururgor Ururogor Urerogor Sure A great scaly tarantula! We haven't seen a tarantula yet. We've seen some scorpions. It has large mandibles and has a gaunt appearance. Purple taupe scales are blocky and close set, but why beware its poisonous bite. For once, it doesn't have webs. A spider, but it doesn't have webs. And it is right here. Okay. Well, that was quick. We have a replacement Forgotten Beast for our second cave. I'm going to go ahead and close this up again. One less thing to deal with. Uh, hopefully that gets done quickly. I guess let's keep an eye on this guy in the meantime. And by guy, I mean genderless eldritch, eldritch beast, but you know what I mean. It's going to come straight for us, too. Hopefully that door gets closed quickly. Jeez. It wants in. Of course, did I... Uh, is the lever outside of the burrow? No, it shouldn't be. I should be able to get here, right? Let's see. Someone's, someone's coming. Okay. I mostly just want to make sure something terrible doesn't happen. There you are. 
It's a clumsy tarantula. When have you ever seen that? Man, it is booking it. This is kind of scary. Should I tell her squads to come down? I mean, the person who is going to do this could be an entire fortress away because I still have not <laughs> reconnected those levers like a smart person. Let's go ahead and just take our squads who are currently stationed upstairs for fish reasons and station them down here for tarantula reasons. So it's like already here. Yeah, geez. It's... Oh my god. At least there are some traps. I guess we could also close this one. I don't know if that's... this is closer. Mm. Yeah, I I want to be safe. No, that's not what I want to do. Go ahead and pull this. And then I will tell my squads to station like down here. So they're close, but not outside. A nail biter. Five minutes in. How about that? No oh, cheese. Please don't. Please don't. Okay. Were we anywhere near? I'm sure, no one's even close to this. Is it you? It's you. Only well, we're close. What about this one. Someone's, someone's coming. Is it you? No. No. They're just smoothing walls. Door item. Nope. Okay, well, we're probably just gonna fight this real quick then, aren't we? <laughs> Did you even get hit? No, I think they don't even get hit by traps and junk. Or maybe they do, and this one just is too good and firm. Well, that was quick. Who are you? Is it gonna kill all my smiths? Oh, this is Erish. Murder child is getting cornered by a giant tarantula. That's not good. Oh, and there he goes. Fair enough. Okay, run, child. Wow. Good, good job. This is another child. Okay. Is that also a child? That is also a child. Apparently all of our children are doing our, our labor. Uh, where are my soldiers? Hey, look, the doors are closed. Of course they are. Um, so I can I can turn off the burrow for the moment since the doors are closed. But now where's our squads? Um. <laughs> well, that's cool. Uh, they'll show up eventually, right? This tarantula doesn't seem to be in too much of a hurry, at least. Oh no, the ravens! Just gonna chill out in the corpse stockpile with the ravens. That's okay. No, go away! No! No! Get away! Zuglar? Hmm. 
I'm surprised it's not like... Just... Squads? Come on. Here you are. Here's one. Are you equipped? You got some stuff. You got your stuff. Okay. Hopefully you get some friends. Here's some friends. Pylon! Get him! Ooh, good. Good, good, good. Thank you. Uh, who got this one? X... M... Mzku... Mzu. Human Spearman. Scratches the beast in the... Cephalothorax. With bare hands? Interesting. Hammerdorf bites. Okay, cool. Speardorf stabs. Okay. I mean, did the human really just scratch it to death? That's interesting. Got a lot of hits on it, though. It missed us. A whole bunch. See, that's how things should be going. Okay. Uh, who got the kill? Axe move. Okay. M Mzu. So you are a spider scratcher. I don't know why that's what you did, but that is what you did. You got a spear and a bow, and you killed it with your bare hands. Cool. <laughs> um, we can also, I mean, just queue up a, um, okay, bye. A statue, why not? The, the saga of that forgotten beast is now concluded. Statue. Do one of those, and it will be for Amzu. Apparently, that's a common name. It must be. That sounds like goblin name. Yeah, these are all goblins. Uh, and of course, I can't hover over things while a window's open. Uruguer. U R E R. You moistened black. That's what that name means. Great scaly tarantula. Okay, cool. Done. Are you good? You're stressed. No health problems. Just. Oh, it's sprained an ankle. Okay. That's fine. Fine. Three more anvils for the mayor. You know what? I'm going to stop making out of iron. Except that that's still probably... What are the heck are the rest of these? I don't know what those are. Definitely not steel. Okay. Forgotten Beast taken care of. Uh, okay. And then I'm pretty sure our hospital has a whole bunch of splints and stuff in it, so I'm not too worried about our friend here. We we'll go over here. Splints, crutches. Okay, so he'll be fine. Hopefully, someone will come drag him to the hospital. And someone will fix it. Uh, why are random locked things in places? Okay. The other thing that was happening was all this stupid fish stuff. Um, we have we have a fish tree over here at this point. Yeah. All these fish are in the tree. We we dropped a whole bunch of magma here, and then a bunch of fish relocated to here. <laughs> the magma couldn't quite get them. Uh, so we're going to have to readjust our spigot and kill the rest of them, is the plan. And then we'll have to deal with that, because of course... 
Um, we have to wait for this to. We'll, we'll wait for these to go away, and then we'll we'll deal with the rest of that. And then what else? What else? We were working down here. Here. Did I make another. I did. Is this linked? This is linked. We must just just finish this at the end. So. Uh, we just need to dig here. Perfect. I'm glad I checked. Because I forgot I made that much progress. So, that'll get dug. And then we will dump more magma into this tiny little hole here, because this is where they all are now. I'll take care of the rest of these. And then I also want to <laughs> redump magma over here because I was dumb. Uh, we can get, get rid of some of this. Uh, but yeah, there was a there was a little bit that was still connected, and it just it re refilled. I kind of mined out some spit, some spots. Now there's water here again. That's fine. Just annoying. Right, and then this is also linked. No, not yet. So we need to link that one. Um, and we need to like. More. <laughs> we need more levers. Okay, that's what we're doing. Uh, build me some machines, levers. Post band, that's fine. And not. Can't. It's all. But they can smooth. <sighs> Machine, lever. There. And then I bet you I can just come right back in and tell them to smooth those. No? Fine. Do it later. Oh look at our oh perfect. Oh, these are these are just water uh <laughs> being washed around. Those need to be taken care of. Look, I mean, we, there's a bunch of vegetation in there still, but it looks like a bathhouse. It's all ankle-deep water at this point, and not just a big old muddy mess. So I'm okay with that. That That is an improvement. That does look nicer. And this is... This is working. Okay. No migrants. Womp womp. Probably the least amount of water is going this way. But some still, maybe? Maybe a tiny bit? Is that... is this blocking? Where is water there? No? Okay. It's working. Yeah, the next iteration of this kind of a construction will be more compact. And more efficient. Are you are you grabbing stuff? You're grabbing stuff. Okay, so it's it's getting taken care of. It's just gonna be a minute. That's fine. Okay. No migrants. Um. Okay, that's fine. Oak from coal. It's fine. Amardorf is fighting against two. You're. Hmm. I guess he got away. <laughs> it's convenient for the thing to die in the corpse stockpile. I guess that's helpful. Um, and we're sitting at a sitting at twenty five FPS. That's kind of nice. That's better than we have been the last couple. Last couple? 
and we're only going to get better as we deal with these fish people. There's still like uh, at least 150 on the map right now, last I checked. So, okay, so that got dealt with. So now we're just going to pull this. Pull the lever. And these are getting placed. Very good. Um, so this is going to be... Nagmud, um, south east again. <laughs> and you get linked with two magma save mechanisms all the way down here. Now just oh and then so that'll open and then we also want because this is uh you are inactive you are total power zero did I disable some here inactive are we in Oh, we're still waiting for the water to start refilling our... Yeah, okay. This is... Because we broke all of our waterworks, we have to wait for the water to refill our waterworks so that we can pump the magma. The Duke has been taken by a Fey Mood. Interesting. Uh, I'm curious. What is your Grandmaster Weaver? Are you going to make some fancy clothes? Because I think they tend to have strange moods off of their highest skill. I mean, he did immediately claim that workshop, didn't he? Claim the clothes shop. Has the aspect of one fae. <laughs> um, oh, look, Erish is throwing a tantrum. Are you going to kill the dupe while in a strange mood? No, they're not too close yet. Did you hear the one about the Hell Titans and the Grey Langerman? I have not, Erish. Do you want to tell me? You're already done with your tantrum. Interesting. Well. Oh, and Nil has already begun a mysterious construction. That didn't take long. Two pieces of cloth? Nil. <laughs> You've been free for how long? Nil has been in our fortress. Nil has been our duke since like episode four, like a long, long time. Finally gets a strange mood and gets grabs two pieces of cloth. And that's it. Usually there's a lot of more interesting junk thrown in there. Oh well. He works for furiously. Curious to see what he comes up with. My cat. I know you don't have room to lay down because of my microphone. He's just gonna sit there and eat my leftovers. Barring depression, depression. Goodbye. Not all of it, no? No, these are completed things. So. Definitely just two pieces of cloth. Is it nice cloth? Is it dyed cloth? I guess we could look. It is dyed. We've been trying to dye all our cloth. But increases the, the base value, yeah. Midnight blue with dimple dye. So. Uh, what does it say? Like, this, the cloth is worth 58 on its own. Holy cow. Must have been dyed very well. Or is, does dyeing have a quality? 
I thought it would, it might just be just the straight material multiplier. Um, steel mill shirts 10 completed. So we are slowly making our steel stuff. Getting there, dying thread is done. Or getting done. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be just a moment before our... Our water wheels are working again. But once, I mean, not too long actually, because I think they only like depth three for the flow to count for, for a water wheel. Three or four. It doesn't, I don't think it needs all, all seven. Anyway, I guess we could even look. This one, so the, that'll activate first, right? Ooh, a pigtail hood. Okay, thanks, thanks, Nil. Uh, let's go here, all the way down. A bald head, the lovely matches. This is a pigtail hood. All craft dwarf ship is of the highest quality. It is decorated with pigtail and encircled with bands of pigtail. It is made from pigtail. It is blue. <laughs> Thank, thanks. You made a blue hood. Okay, well, I mean, let's put it in the museum. But, I mean, no, come on. Google Home thought I was talking to it just there. That's cool. Why is there nothing? We've had too many things get stolen, haven't we? What am I hearing? Google Home just started playing music out in the living room. Well, that's cool. Uh, I'll have to go fix that. Let me finish this. Uh, headwear, right? That was what we're looking for. Head. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. No, it was this. There you go. Okay. Hold on. Let me go yell at Google real quick. Fixed it. <laughs> I don't know why. I guess I could have yelled at it from my phone here. It's not always consistent about that, though. Um. Yeah, the little hub was just music out there. That's. I don't know what I said. Okay, no, up at this. Are you moving yet? Not yet. Oop, total power 100. Okay, so it's getting there. Under 200. It must be... it must be 4. Hello, creature. Hold on. Needy beast. Needy beast. He's on yet? They're getting there. Slowly powering up. Yeah, it must be four. Meow. Uh, nope, not there. Um, so then, yes, yeah, so then this will be open. And then we need this to be open as well. Ball. Hi.
most that got smoothed. I wonder if we can like collect the crops. Muddy plump helmets. <laughs> gather gather plants. Just <laughs> well, I don't know if that'll do anything. I'm gonna get rid of all these rocks too. Too bad we didn't get any migrants. I would just set them all set to carbon blocks or something. Um, okay, we're digging there. Cool. There we go. Cool. So now we're powered. And this just needs to get opened. There we go. Excellent. You can see the magma pushing the, the rocks around. Always cool. Alright. Of course, it's not. It's gonna like flow past. Cause this is not an ideal setup for sure. None of this is ideal. But it'll work. We don't need much to go here. We'll kind of split. But then it comes down. There we go. Now they die. Yes. Yes. Eat magma, fish people. Perfect. Of course, we're not going to get every single one because the ones under the trees are unfortunately kind of safe. And you're going to try to run, aren't you? Maybe. Unsuccessfully, clearly. Well, like, that's already as much magma as we need there. So uh, let's go ahead and pull this. So that's fine. That has served its purpose. And then the rest of this. Did you get linked? You also got linked. So that means we can just go ahead and do the rest of this. Do channel this one. Right. Um, and then I'm going to put a hatch there so that no one does something stupid and then we can open this Oop. And then i think i think we're good yeah some of them are gonna run away that's fine single single fish are fine it's them grouping up in hundreds really the issue one more low boot not that we need more low boots but i'll make more low boots well, we're almost through all the steel stuff i told them to make so we're probably gonna have to make tell them to make more even um uh, but we'll we'll check our squads i guess that's the first step This all worked out fine. There's one, two, three, four. There could be more in here, but probably not a ton more. It's still gonna be a thing to deal with though. Uh, our one sterling silver statue has been completed. Go ahead and place Axmu. Confirm. Hello. I've already gotten a new forgotten beast. Just showed up, got in the fortress, got murdered, made a statue, and now we're placing it. <laughs> Getting quite efficient at that. 
um, our duke made a hood, an artifact hood. Hooray. A giant rat has guzzled some dwarven wine. Oh yeah, see there's like still all our junk out here. Okay. Fine. The giant rat can have can have some wine. Fine. Um We make we make statues of your national trauma. Yeah, no kidding. We'll try not to make all the statues about you dying specifically, but, you know, I can't promise anything. Um, so we're still working on Project Eradicate Fish People. Um, currently, we just activated some dumping uh, for down here. Uh, and then we're re-dumping here because I screwed up, so we're, <laughs> we're, we're re-fixing this. But it's fine. Um, and we just dumped some here, so now it's just a couple of pools under the trees. And then our last chunk is all of... Yeah, fine, whatever. All of these guys sitting in a tree. Specifically this tile right here. For reasons. Um, so we're... And we, like, they were over here. And then they hit over here while I was dumping, so... Uh, we're waiting for this to cool off, just these last little bits, and then we can adjust here, and then hopefully that'll be it. Fingers crossed. Um, we've mostly... We've gotten through a lot of the steel stuff that I told them to make. There's still uh, a bunch of stuff just sitting in... The workshops here, so I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna not not give them jobs so that they can hopefully fix all this. Um, clear glass is happening again because we traded for more sand, so that's cool. Um, oh, and I Im improved my bathhouse, so now like the actual whole bathhouse is is wet. Hooray! Um, is this actually installed here? No, it's just sitting here. That's fine. I think it's a good upgrade. At least visually. I mean, you weren't you weren't here last stream. Um it it did not come without cost. <laughs> I, I kinda screwed up. Um, but we we fixed it, everything's fine now. Um aside from the soap, we probably need to make more soap. Yeah, who cares? They'll, they'll make soap eventually, right? Um, but yeah, I accidentally like mined out the, the middle section here and the floor collapsed and it blew out the bottom of the cistern and it flooded the caverns and a forgotten piece got up and it was a whole thing. But we're fine now. See, look, there's a there's a, cor there's a corpse here. This is Disseth. This is even the one that was killing a bunch of people. This is the web spitting, flying thing with 300 kills. Flew right up into our bathhouse. Good times. Um, anyway, since we're making glass, I'm going to keep going on our... Yeah, it was definitely fun. Definitely an F-U fun. Uh, let's go on this. How, many, how much glass? We have eight. Okay. Mm, uh, do I have enough for that? Erish, stop it. That's seven, of course it is. Comfort. Okay. Okay, you... seriously need to cool it. Just sitting in a doorway, waiting to assault people. Ashamed after starting a fist fight? How many people... Is it just one person? I saw a couple people walk by. Um, 
Darkness withdraw. Yeah, Air's gotten tangled with the the fur with a forgotten beast, and but he's fine. Whoever child strikes the mayor strikes at the mayor, but the shot is blocked. Oh, so they can block. They just don't fight back. Punches the mayor in the right lower leg. Ben, bends the force bends the knee. Uh, dwarven child strikes at the mayor, but the shot is blocked. Dwarven child punches the mayor. Yeah, I mean, at some point, I'd rather them just take out the child. <laughs> you don't need to be that permissive. But so long as he's not murdering, you can sit there and attack the mayor. Attack the mayor's shield. Like that's fine, right? Maybe that's. We should we should like employ people to just follow Erish around with a shield. Like, are you do you are you angry? Do you need to here just just hit just hit the shield and then and then everything's fine. Like, still wanting to start fist fights here. Mm. Like the dog. Dwarven Child grabs the dog by the eye tooth. Don't do that. <laughs> it sounds bad for both of you. This is all mud, isn't it? Mm, I have too many drains here. See, this is going to still be kind of muddy. I think it's partly because as people walk through these tiles, they kind of consume the water a bit like the water ends up on them and they and then they drag it around what is this open space why is there open space here there should not be open space there uh um, let's just let's go ahead and close that off uh, I have a marble block somewhere, right? Yeah, just do that. And then, oh, are these the trees? Because we had trees here, and then we chopped down the trees. And now there's holes in our bathhouse. That's what happened. It's just those two. There was a tree down here too, but it didn't. Punch a hole in the ground. Oh, it's because because there was nothing beneath. Like on the surface, when you if you mine out like just one Z level below the surface, and you have trees above, and you chop down the tree, it'll, it'll punch. Ho it'll cause holes because of like the roots and junk. Um, so we just did the same thing here by accident. Hooray! This all seems as fine as it can be. Yeah, our next our next version of this is gonna be much more compact, so that it's more consistent. Anyway, um Is er did Erish calm down? I didn't even I just stopped watching him. Took my eyes off the child. Erish. No, you're fine now. Okay. Okay, and then magma here. We are dropping. Slowly. Yeah, okay. We'll refill all of this. There's a cattail on my keyboard. Okay, well. We're, we're down to smelting hematite. Wow. I thought I told them to melt a whole bunch of stuff, so I kind of assumed that we would have enough iron gear to, to smelt that we wouldn't need to smelt actual ore. So I might need to tell them to do more smelting jobs.
Yeah, they're just they're smell to nowhere. Okay, well. It's in all these. We even have melt jobs here. Or melt designated things. Not too many though. Mm-hmm. Can I just tell you to do the iron stuff? We have so much copper. I don't care about smelting the copper. I just want my iron. The iron, iron. Iron breastplates, iron shields. Like this? Like, this is like almost completely destroyed iron mail shirt. Worn out. I'm just gonna melt it into a bar and turn it into something else. Probably just annihilated whatever goblin was wearing that. Now we're gonna turn it into someone else's hat. Uh, melt a metal object. Perfect. Like, look at all this. These melting jobs. Let's see. How do I? So I am restricting the armoring and weapon smithing. But I think melting an object is it's either furnace operating or it's one of these. So these those aren't restricted. It's just literally making weapons and making armor that are restricted to a small number of people, and then everyone else should be able to do all this like smelting the bars. That's not... their skill gets... their skill makes them faster, but you don't get better bars or more bars out of it or anything. Uh, oh, shut up with the mandates. Shut up with the mandates. You know, you're just getting... I'm gonna stop using steel on the low boots, and you're just getting... Some copper low boots now. I'm gonna deal with it. Um, okay. What else should we work on? We're I think we're we're approaching the end of the fish saga. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Kitten, I cannot see my F keys with your tail there. Um, there is still some work to do on actually, like, walling off the cave. That's what, I mean, that's why this sucked, because I can't send anyone over here to, to wall things off. With all the fish people there. Once this cools off, I'm going to tell people to come over and clean all this up, too. And this is getting there. Slowly. All the magma. Come on, go away. Bunch of smoothing jobs. So not. Oh, look at this! Look at our smooth hospital. Thank you, everyone. Very nice. Very nice. You are. You are resting. We have an infection. Is there soap in here? There better be soap in here. There's a bunch of buckets. Red cloth soap. So many splints, holy cow. 
There's some soap. There's some soap. There's some soap. Okay, cool. Um, are we still keeping a hold of any... Uh, tallow. So we are, we have all the alpaca tallow. Holy cow. Is that the only one we're holding on to? Oh, the, the honey, that's fair. No, mount goat tallow. See, like, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and see if they can use this. We don't need that much. We'll just keep a hold of the 400 alpaca tallow. And that'll be enough for all the soap we could ever want. Pretty sure. And there's even there should be a job in here for soap, but now the side effect of blowing apart our bathhouse is we washed all of our soap into the cave. No, I don't know how much of it's being counted against our stocks. Uh, yeah. So I think I for bait and all. Oh, here? Yes, yeah, so there's a whole bunch of soap there. Just forbid that. Someone... Uh, someone else is throwing a tantrum because they're possessed by a ghost. Hooray. Um, just making sure... Drown the fish people with soap? That'd be a cool thing. Kind of hoping that our giant whirlpool of open bath water would have like sudsed. I think that would be cool, but that's not. There's no suds in this game, but whatever. Um, just ignore all of that, please. Now, of course, it's you. Frightened after being possessed by the dead. That's a decent reaction, I guess. Um, let's go up here and make a slab to Ligot. Ghost. And then... Don't recall if there were any other... Slabs I made. Oh, there's... Oh, I even had... Okay. I already have a slab to that one. I'm also going to say, just to count the rest of this. I'm sure, there will be more corpses for us to deal with. Uh, speaking of, I probably have some tombs to place. Don't want to get too backlogged on on that, because that's how you get all sorts of ghosts and junk. More than we have. Uh, doors. No, I don't need to. I don't need to pick. We'll tell him to dig another row of them too. Just low priority. Oop, and we're saving. Okay. We're almost to year 20. That's kind of cool. if I can get cat is not on cat cam because she's like here 
<laughs> I want to have I want to have a big room with like velcro walls and have a little GoPro and just be able to like stick it on the wall and point at the cat wherever she is and make her on the cat cam. Okay, so we'll, we'll dig out these. It's doable. I just... Not here. Not with this budget. But, like, they make, um... They make... Like, SD cards, like, memory cards for for cameras that are Wi-Fi enabled. Like the, the latency is horrible. Like I'd never do it for a face cam, but like for a cat cam, who cares? You just have a little GoPro, put a little, uh, oh, of course there's another ghost. Put a Wi-Fi chip in it and then just have it like link across Wi-Fi and you'd have a cat cam that you could put, just stick on a wall and put anywhere. Um, well, we're making doors and coffins. That's understandable. Uh, sea lob. No. O B. No. B. There you go. Uh, okay. That ghost is went with the rest. That's good. People attempting to pick up equipment. Okay. Let's check on our two new squads. It really seems like it's, it's the Greaves. I mean, all of this. Like, they have iron versions. Hmm. But like you're fine. You're fine. How oh, how many people are not fine? Is it literally the squads? Maybe the squad just needs to go on duty or something. Steel breastplate. Okay, well let's let's do this. I'm gonna do ten more steel reeves. Because clearly we need some more greaves. We'll start with that. All of our ravens. You know what? More nest boxes? I mean, I don't know if I care that much. Hello! Welcome! How's it going? We are... Making progress? Question mark? Um, I'm still still flooding the caves with magma. I'm waiting for like literally the, this one tile to cool down so we can come in and, and make an adjustment to our, one of our spigots. But we're dumping... We're in this corner. Yeah. Or, oh, what happened? Why is it off? Why are you not magma-ing? Did you... <sighs> this isn't damp, though. Where did the water come from? God. God. <clears throat> okay, well... We'll have to fix that too, I guess. These are still both connected to the wall. Ugh. The magma. The magma. Uh, let's do... See, I can't even drain it. What 
would you do? You would... I need... Well, which way? Which way? We're here. It don't matter. Let's... Here. We're here. Yeah, so we go... Here. Except we can't... No, not that. We need to do it from the top, because of course... And... We can come across like this. Hold on. Hold on. Not not yet. Uh okay. So then I just wanna drop like here instead. Stupid freaking aquifers. Ruining everything. I'm so over this. <laughs> let's do... Let's do here. So this will be a stairwell that goes down to here. And then we'll, we'll connect it at the top, but then this is our little access tunnel. I should build a, a floor there too, so no one falls in. People are good at falling in. I forbid that while you're at it. Um, but okay, so then we'll have that. And then we can channel out that, and then it will go down. And then that will be fine. I'm not even going to bother with a grate. I'll just wall it off afterwards. Uh, I do, I guess I do want to... Let's do that. That's fine. Okay. Jeez. And then over here. Okay, cool. So we can come in here now. I want this. This tile right here is my nemesis. Um, I've been good. I've been I've been up and down, but you know, uh it's been a fun week. More more work, more more stuff. Um, how, how's your week been? Look, th that's like the fourth tantrum Erish has done this stream. He's getting out of hand. Um, okay, so we're gonna channel here. And our stairs will be here. We'll do that. And then we want a floor. Hopefully we can build a floor here. Actually, we might not be able to. Well, I guess we'll see. Uh, yeah, bro, confirm. Okay. Where's... Someone started tantruming. Oh well. Been interesting, only worked three days as I'm off tomorrow and we get Monday off in the UK for Easter. Very cool. I, yeah, short weeks are always intense, right? Who's... Eh? What'd you find? What? <laughs> okay, uh, that's cool. Uh, 
there. What is happening? That's good. Yeah, my always... I always was in kind of the position where, uh, like there's X number of emails to deal with every day, right? Whether you're there or not. So you take a day off, you just have to deal with two days worth of emails the next day you come in. So short weeks are like, it's like the work of a full week just squished in there. by a cave spider okay why are you wait no this is cave one this is fine okay that's fine <laughs> i thought you were in the wrong cave for a second hopefully hopefully this is okay Um, oh, I need to unforbid this, because there's no way for anyone to get in there. That's how... Okay, goes put to rest. Good. Can this... Just no one's got a job there. Okay. Someone's working on that. Someone did that. Good. Um, and this is all being taken care of. I'm going to turn on... No. I turn temperature back on if it's not on currently. Yeah. Just because, like, stuff like that. I'll make sure it gets taken care of. I think... Look at all this. All these warm stones. Of course, we're gonna like light, light everything on fire again. Um, but I was rewatching the vods. I was noticing like the the weird junk that was happening up here. I'm wondering if it had to do with the worm stones and people not wanting to get close to stones that were magma hot because I didn't turn on except with the calculations off. Then they just stay hot forever. So I wonder if they were reacting to that somehow. I don't actually know how that works. If we could burn down this tree, it'd be great. I would love it. But it's not going to happen. Um, on this. Okay. Um. Actually, yeah, one bear. Okay. I guess, so I do, I want to start draining these little tree holes. So we're, well, I'm going to designate some, some channels, basically. Something like this. I'm just trying to make like a, you know, a big flat area that this water can spill out into and be, you know, shallow enough that it just evaporates on its own. That's the goal. And then there won't be no more water. Let's just do something like that, and we'll go down a little bit. Um, yeah, just turning on temperature took down 10 FPS. So that's definitely a thing, especially with 
fire. This poor cave has been on fire so often. I'm surprised there's anything that can grow down here anymore. The imp is fighting. Imps? I don't want imps. A giant bat. All, all of those. Yes, yes. Um, oh, I need to place that one. Mm, fire imp. Oh, that was a caged one. Did that just happen? No. Weird. Damp stone. Of course. Of course. Of course. Always with the damp stone. This layer isn't wet, but that's fine. This layer is fine. Come on. Our greaves come in. Another. You're not working on it. Oh, not that screen. This screen. We've made a grieve. Hm, okay. Wheelbarrows. These are wheelbarrows. Yeah, look at all these greaves. They're getting made. And then this is like linked to all the things. What's taking? Hmm. Gives to decoration input. I never set up... Some of these are set up different than others now. I assume these have out... I assume these can give. <laughs> I'm assuming things are fine. Is what happened. What is happening? Um, I want to place a gravestone. Furniture, slab. Lob. We'll, just, we'll place them all. Some of these are duplicates. Don't care. Okay. Ultimately, I want to, <laughs> I want to put this to rest because then it will look nice and be like I made a fancy throne room. out about the coffins. You're just... you're fine. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with the floodgate there. This still has not happened. I guess let's...
how about this? How about let's let's brainstorm some fun things for next for next fortress. I think we're we're on the tail end of this fortress. I'm, I'll say that. Um, I want this to be like a I want this to be an established fortress, and I kind of want to leave it intact. There are things we could do to like. Uh, ruin things on purpose. We're not going to do that, but not, at least not with this one. Um, like I, we were, we were digging down. These, we're still, still not getting this stuff dug. I think we're just still so backlogged on on hauling jobs. Um, like this is our our third cave layer. I haven't been in here. We just like just just barely revealed this, but like, look, this is ridiculous. Um, Riff is throwing a tantrum. Who are you? You're not a common tantrumer. You still gonna kill someone? Um, but I'm like, just keeping in the back of my mind what I want to do for... Everyone can throw tantrums. The, yeah. Adults are very good at throwing tantrums. This is an adult. This is a 31 year old. Gonna, gonna do all the same. Um, but once once she's done, we can actually throw her in jail. And she'll maybe feel grief or remorse or something. Who knows? Throwing people in prison doesn't really seem to make them stop tantruming so much, but it does tend to make other people happier. Like this, like, we can convict Era, she just doesn't get put in, doesn't get put in a cell. Um... But yeah, ultimately, I'm thinking our... Um, oh, I know what we can do since we're we're working on training up our our squads here. Still need we need pants for them for some of them, but they're they're pretty dang close. Yeah, look at all that steel stuff. Um, let's do this. Let's go here. Let's take those two squads. And station. Station in here. And then we're gonna take all the critters in these ca in these cages, which are mostly cave fish. My understanding is correct. All of our caged cave fish people are up in here. And then these are all little holes. Um so we'll we'll station our, our dwarves underneath. And then I can go in here and tell the other dwarves. All these plump helmet men. Are they in here too? They must be. Yeah, plump helmet men. Okay, we'll do them too. So they're not like really hostile, but do it anyway. Um, so I'm going to assign all of these critters to be thrown into the pit. Hopefully they're all actually here. I think they should be. Uh, okay, fish people. Fire imp will have to be a little more careful about. Uh, but we'll give our give our new squad some combat experience before telling them to go take care of all the goblins. Naked mole dogs. We'll start with that. That's plenty. Okay, so you're all hanging out in here. That's good. Um. So yeah, I'm thinking next fort is probably going to be a smaller fortress. Uh, I'll we'll do a smaller footprint uh, for the for the map itself, and that'll kind of help with some of the speed of the game, and also make for some more interesting building challenges uh, with sorry checking my checking my email <laughs> um,
we'll we'll make a smaller fortress. And uh, in in this map, like this map was huge, um, and there was a space for us to construct our our layout and however we wanted. Uh, so we weren't very restricted with uh, how we how we constructed the fortress itself. So we can have some more interesting challenges with a smaller embark location. Is do plump helmet men not are they not hostile? There's a troglodyte. Kill the troglodyte. Kill the trog. Kill. Splat. Maybe? No. Kill eat that. Stay here, don't leave. No, don't go away. Works. And plump helmet men like get caught in cages like they're enemies, but they're not like enemies. Yeah, see look, they just run off. Kill it. I don't need it in my I don't need it in my stockpile. Did that one just fall over dead? Okay. Anyway, um, you can also make, you can move around the cap, the population cap of your fortress. Um, by default it's at 200, so I'm thinking of making a smaller cap fortress next, um, which will also keep things going faster in the FPS sense. Um, obviously less will happen in the sense that there was less labor to go around for the fortress, so it'll be like faster gameplay but slower plot? Question mark? I don't know. It'll be different. That's I think that's the main thing. You'll be around when you set all that, but yeah, I'll I'll try to be intentional about when when we when we embark onto the next uh, the next project. Um. Not, not immediately, but kill the thing. Kill it. Oh, look at all of them. Kill all of them. Okay, at least they go down quick. <laughs> Might be evil. On a Gorlac. I think those are actually hostile? Maybe not. Not really. Okay, well. Kill it anyway. Maybe? Jeez. That was a uh, hardy Gorlac. But I mean, so the, these squads, I'm actively training them up, so I want to send them off onto the world map to deal with the goblins to our north. Um, and we can we can definitely do that. And then we can also those are iron bolts. <laughs> um, we could also embark our new fortress up further north and just be closer to all the goblin pits and assault them from there if we wanted to. Um, we could go clear off to the other side of the, the world if we wanted to. We could go closer to the rest of our civilization over into the the east of us. I don't know. We have options. The fish people, at least, are definitely hostile, so they will be attacked as soon as they get thrown in. Um, the other thing that I'm kind of curious to check out is 
I have not even looked at Steam Workshop since like the week after this game came out. And there was like already a couple of things on there that were kind of cool, cool looking. There's got to be so much wild stuff on the workshop right now. Um, well, that's fine. And I'm like, part of me is like, oh, it's, it'd be cool to have a long term stream world where everything's kind of consistent and, and we're our damn stone. Um, you know, playing in the same world long term. Why is there water there? Because we dug. That's what happened. Okay. Uh, so we're digging. And then these stairs here. Do like that. And then we also want to smooth. Uh, I guess this. Or sure, whatever. Uh, can you leave this fortress and run? Yep. Uh, so yeah, that's the plan. Is um, I mean, there's two there's two ways you can leave a fortress. Is if everyone dies, you get kicked out. Like you you lose and you fail and the site is abandoned. Um, but you can also retire a fortress, which is intentional, and then the game takes over our fortress and it becomes an NPC fortress, and it will continue to, can you, continue to exist in our civilization. It will still be the capital of our civilization. All of these characters will still be in the world. They'll be able to like move back and forth. Like we could see people who live here now end up emigrating to a new fortress in the future. That kind of thing. Like I find those kinds of interactions really cool. Um, and then we can just like start populating this world with forts that we've made and and stories that we know. Um, it's kind of the idea. Um, and then over here, no, down here. here. And this, I want to smooth. Everything needs to be smooth. Uh, and then there. Um, yeah, so, so that's kind of, that's kind of my thought is I think that's kind of cool. And then there's the whole other, the whole other thing is there's, a, there's another mode to this game. Uh, oh, good. And adventure mode is what it's called. And it's a mode that was functional in previous versions of Dwarf Fortress. But with the Steam release, they prioritized Fortress mode, because this is kind of what Dwarf Fortress is known for. Um, this is what most people play, I would say. Um, so they so Adventure mode does not currently work in the Steam release, but it's like one of their high priorities for the next couple of, of patches to come out. Um, so when Adventure mode is working again, we are definitely going to play some Adventure mode. And that is where... Like retiring your fortress kind of kind of shines because like we can retire this fortress it becomes an NPC fortress the computer just takes over its uh, the the day-to-day -day functions as it as it says and then we can create a character in this world and we can go explore and we can visit our forts we can go visit the other forts we can go visit the goblins up north we can go have an adventure in this world that we've made a fort in do a whole thing and then you know that adventure dies or retires or whatever and make a new fort and make a new adventure and then make a new fort we can do whatever the heck we want in that sense um, and i think that's really cool um, so i'm looking forward to adventure mode working i've tried adventure mode a couple of times in the past uh, on previous versions and like as confusing and dense as fort mode is adventure mode is intense like you know how like when the like the these dwarves are having combat with the fish people right now and you know you go into the combat log and it's like oh the the dwarf stabbed the fish person in the left foot and and the fish person clapped back with its 
pinky, you know, all that, all that junk, all the individual teeth and organs and all that stuff. Imagine that much detail, but no, you are controlling your dwarf, and you get to make, like, called shots on all those parts of your enemies, and they get to do the same to you, and you have to, like, defend. And I have not made it very far in adventure mode because it's complete... It's completely nuts. Um, so I'm looking forward to it being nice and kind of cleaned up a bit, and hopefully it will make sense enough that, that we can hop in and just kind of have some fun with it and see see what they've done, because that's exciting. Yeah, kill the fish! Kill the fish! Uh, more damp stone. Knowing what I know about the life expectancy of dwarves, I can imagine adventure mode is interesting. Yeah! Um, I mean, it's it's kind of funny because this is kind of a roguelike game, but it's like the roguelike aspect is buried underneath all this city builder stuff. But you go into adventure mode, and it's like it's just it's just rogue. You're playing a character in a world, and it dies, and then it's done. Like, the game saves and boots you out back to the menu, and it's like, okay, the world has progressed, the world now exists where that character did that thing and then died, and you can't go back. It's... amazing. <laughs> in, the, in the best way. I, I love it so much. Okay, yeah. Smooth all the things. Um, but yeah, it's brutal. Like, we will we will lose its adventures. And that's kind of... I also kind of like that because... Um, this is all wet? Yeah, that's all wet. Like, losing a fort sucks, right? You put a lot of work into a fort, and, and everyone dying, and then it, it's painful to lose a fort that you put a lot of time into. But... Farting around with an adventure. Whoops, I died. And they go make another one. So we can kind of, like, do a handful, basically. One of the reasons I love these streams, an ironic enthusiasm for this game. Thank you. I, I mean, I've been... It's very nice to have this game get to a point where other people can understand why I love it so much. Um... In the past, you kind of, like, even with graphics packs, you'd stream it and be like, what the heck is this? And it's kind of hard to explain what's going on, but, I don't know, it's kind of getting, finally getting to the point where people can kind of watch and go, oh, I see, I can see what's going on. I'm really happy about that. Anyway, we still have, we still have, there's a trog, there's a cave fish, okay, so we're still... We're still beating up some fish. Definitely a lot fewer than there were, though. Um, okay. So that's progressing. Let's check on our gear. Still same kind of situation. Yeah. It really is the the one squad versus the other. Hmm. Friend got me interested by sending me some blogs of the game. Neither of us had played it. Yeah. I could definitely see that. Um, this game reminds me a lot of um, Eve, the space one. Just in the sense that it's game that's complicated enough that not everyone who knows about it wants to play it but it still makes interesting stories so like I don't like I don't play Eve I played the free trial and I was like this is too much I don't like it but you see stories of it come out like here's what is happening here's what's here's what's going on in in this 
in this world and you you read these stories and it's like mind-blowing and it's super super interesting even if i don't want to participate in it directly i used to work with have it open on his laptop and his screen his work excellent yeah excellent um for a while i was working at a little kiosk where we we sold little miniature cheesecakes um and a little tourist trap area and in the off season it got really really slow and I was the only person working at that location. Um, and I would have, I had a little tablet and I had it remoted into my computer at home uh, using moonlight, I believe. Um, just like a, like a remote screen sharing kind of a deal. Um, so Dwarf Fortress was running on my computer at home and I had this little tablet and I could just like fiddle with it every once in a while. It's like some forts like this, you get to the point where you do a little maintenance and then you let the game run for a while and you do a little maintenance and run th let the game run for a while. So I'd be at work keeping an eye on my dwarves. And like, here's your cheesecake. Oh no, someone's throwing a tantrum. I don't know. It's wild. <laughs> it's, yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, like, and I... And that's not exactly a, a creative thing that I came up with. That's like a thing that people have been doing. Um, like people remoting into their computers at home and to, to run their Door Fortress game is... I've seen multiple, multiple people, people talk about it. I have so many ravens now. Excellent. I want to get domestic ravens before we leave. Those honeybees. Okay. Um. Oh, also, what is what's O game? I don't think I know that one. Unless that was a typo. I never know what to tell the difference between chat typos and things I've never heard of before. It's always a fine line. Okay, well, um, I think we've probably dealt with um, all the fire junk down here. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and turn temperature back off for the moment hopefully I'm not really screwing things up by fiddling with things like that so often but um, oh, this is all basically cooled down and this is oh this is all dug perfect so now so let's do this channel here. Artis, which is super niche and tiny browser game pre-Eve, but similar. Mm. I could see a game like Eve being hard in a browser. <laughs> but I mean, back in the day, browser games were the whole thing, right? We were all just playing Flash games. Uh... Back in like middle school and high school, just being in the computer lab and, and playing the flash games. Those are those are some good memories. Um Okay, uh let's go back up. Do 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 okay. More stairs. There. And then this needs to be smooth because of course it does. That's fine. And that's good. No, not quite. Uh, smooth. Okay. 
We'll get there. I wanted to like Eve. Like, people call this game a spreadsheet simulator. Eve is really the spreadsheet simulator, but like in the good way. Artist, I'll have to check that out. Um, stone cutter. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Oh, naked mole dogs. We can also do the naked mole dogs, except they're not really hostile either. What do we do with what do we do with a naked mole dog? What do you do with a naked mole dog? What do you do with a naked mole dog? Anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and unstation y'all. Good job. Kill a lot of fish. I, I love the idea of, like, just the idea of massive persistent stuff, like Eve has. I'm not so into, um, <laughs> all the stuff that goes around it, like, it's a bit of a grind. Um, it's kind of a grindy game, but I love gigantic spaces that are persistent that everyone plays in and has an impact on, and you just get to interact with each other in a big space. Like, that's the coolest freaking thing. Like, why aren't more video games doing that? I don't know why they're not doing that, because it's hard, but... Um, like, Star Citizen, that's why it was so exciting, and now so disappointing. You cleaning? You cleaning up after yourself? <laughs> Guys, you can't just stab all the fish and then leave. You gotta clean up the blood afterwards. Oh, I'm gonna do it on my own. Oh, you guys. <laughs> Literally scrubbing the ground. <laughs> He's a milker, even. Hilarious. He used to run a starbase on Pardis on a frontier. It was very cool. Whole world is collapsing due to players leaving, but it's run by some people who are just letting it run as a social experiment. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, like, you see all the stories now about, like, underpopulation being a, a, a major economic concern. So, like, to, to see that happen in a, in a digital space with digital depopulation, that's kind of cool. I like it. It's, it's brave. Like, a lot of, like, all the big corporate ones, like, oh, it's lost, like, 1% of its value over the course of... It's 50 year lifespan, pull the plug. So, it's cool that they're committing to it. Oh, we're smoothing. Everything is smoothing. We can even engrave. I want to engrave all of these at least. And this one's not actually used for anything yet, right? Yeah, that one's empty. So, that one can stay. Oh, okay. So that got done. That... Yes. Of course, this is all going to be wet, and I'm not going to be able to smooth. Mm. They're, like, right here. Hmm... <laughs> Do I just go for it? Because that all got smoothed, but this won't be smoothed. But can you try? I'm curious if they'll just freak out. Uh, planets are NPC, but star bases aren't, and the economies of the planets rely on the players trading and building little, little space stations, buildings to, like, process raw materials. Yeah, cool. It does sound like Eve. Population of the NPCs has also collapsed a lot. Interesting. Are NPC populations directly dependent on player actions, or is it the devs, like, doing things on purpose? 
Like, in, in EVE didn't have planet side stuff, right? Aside from that one FPS thing that was really interesting. That, that was a cool idea too, by the way. Asynchronous game interactions? I thought that was brilliant, but too bad it was just like stupid shooter. <laughs> um, but like otherwise, like in EVE, you don't really go to the planets, right? It's just in the space stations. Yeah, what, uh, Dust 54, is that what it was called? I tried to get into that. I really wanted to get into that, but at the end of the day, it's just... It's just a shooter. I don't have, like, and I like shooters, but, like, as far as things to get sucked into, it was just a shooter. Uh, okay, so did this work? This all worked. So that's not damp, this is... We'll just, we'll smooth that, and we'll smooth this, and yeah, okay, cool. Um, we'll go over here, you're gonna try. Curious to see, just abandon it. I think, where did you even go? Did you fall in? I hope you didn't fall in. I'm gonna keep an eye on this. Uh, game works on ticks, so every 10 minutes, planets consume resources. Planets near my starbase need a constant supply of energy and water to sustain its population. So when my starbase collapsed, the planet went from like hundreds of millions of people down to a few thousand. Holy cow. That's brutal. That's so cool though. Like having having drastic swings like that. That's that's cool. I feel like modern game design is is, is conservative in that kind of a sense. Like I could see I could see a big AAA game these days being like, oh there's millions of people here and you failed catastrophically, so we're gonna put like a 1% minus tick on it and it'll just slowly get slightly slightly smaller but like to just whole civilization collapse that's brilliant i love it more of this yeah cancel smooth wall interrupted by cave fish man yeah they're not gonna be able to do that i should have smoothed it before i opened it okay well And is that... No migrants again. Wow. Sad. We're not, like, alone in the world now, are we? No, not... That seems fine. Um, I'm, I wonder if we can just do that. And if that would actually help anything. Along with factions and the more buildings your faction has in a sector, eventually you can claim it as territory. So on the huge map shows like civilizations on War Fortress. Excellent. Uh, the other players can come and blow things up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does sound very much like Eve. In the in in that sense, which is cool. Like those, that's the kind of stuff about Eve that I liked. Is the flying around and pointing your lasers at asteroids weren't, that weren't quite as interesting, but like that cuts that stuff is cool. Okay, so this will this will work eventually. like successfully sheared all of our creatures for once. 
<laughs> grown naked mole dogs. Devs made it so that the three main factions have a heartland so they can only contract so far. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, like I, it would be kind of brutal to just be wiped out. Um, but like in EVE, like there's no... Like in EVE, there's no three main factions, right? It's only player-made organizations. So they can, can and have be wiped out. The other thing about EVE that's brutal is that like... It's kind of, and like you can you can buy things with real money, and then players can blow up your real money stuff. Every once in a while, you'll you'll see reporting about, uh, oh this this star battle blew up, you know, x millions of dollars worth of hardware in this video game, which you know it's not exactly like everyone's definitely spent that much money on it, but it's still some stuff. Someone spent some money on it, I guarantee you. Are you coming? No, they're just gonna... They're gonna hate all of this. Ugh. Cancels dig, interrupted by Kfish Man. Yeah. Well... I think we're just gonna have to try it. I mean, really, it doesn't have to be that much that gets down here, even. Ugh. Fine. Let's just, let's just do it. I'm just going to do it. Pull the lever, and then don't go in there. Probably a mistake. Uh, for about a decade, the Federation was really strong, so the Empire and Union kept teaming up against them. That's all. Yeah, three-way battles are always great. Um, Long-running narratives are what I love. Agreed. Like this one player betrayed the Union and opened up the military outpost to the Feds, who blew up this super, super sentimental starbase. I can still remember that, and it happened like 15 years ago. I hate that guy. That's hilarious. Okay, Ooh, now. Okay, okay, that's that's enough. That's all we needed. Yeah, yes. Die, die. Well, I'm gonna turn temperature back on because it might actually burn some of this tree down. <laughs> Where's your tree now? <laughs> excellent, excellent. Washed them all out at least. They're all gonna, so some of them are gonna come to us now. Oh, we saw that last time. So I'm gonna put some, uh, no, not there. And then these are open. So let's just do, do, do. Doot doot. Do. And then they will take care of things that trickle in. Yeah, they're like, how dare you murder most of us? Yeah, heavy bleeding. Afraid after experiencing trauma, I have instilled fear into the fish people. They're all like bleeding out. Look at this. How many are even here? These are all just one. Like all this, oh my God. <laughs> Excellent. So that's like, we don't even need to do this anymore. Did this, did it close itself off? No, it didn't. Perfect. Yeah, just close. We're good. Wrap it up. Okay. <laughs> 20k theft in Eve. Very cool. Yeah, same. So, yeah, uh, Dwarf Fortress, 
potential for narratives yeah i agree that's um if you if you listen to the the creator of this game um it's basically like like two brothers they're responsible for this game um still bleeding he talks about this less as a video game and more of a story generator or a story simulator um and then they you know gamify it just enough to become to stay interesting but um like the stories that this game creates is like the explicit purpose of dwarf fortress and the the fact that it's fun to play is almost a side effect um so it's that's very on purpose I want to see how many... Let's run our little hack thing. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. There's only 13 cave fish people on the map right now. There are 90 ant men. But that's fine. That's in the second cave. Um, also going to have to keep an eye on this. So... Things can still get in here, so we need to deal with this sooner rather than later. Um, once all that cools off, but that's doable. Um, and then there was this situation. It all got smoothed, right? No. That did. And that did. And that did. Okay, cool. So now we'll do a Match here, confirm, and then a channel here, and then we can even turn, that's even still open, okay, perfect, perfect, we're good. Just waiting for that to get dug. Um, so the fish people, why can't you just close up the only way for them to, for the way in? So, yes. Working on it. <laughs> um, I think, I think they have to come in off the map, but they go into the water. Um, but, yeah, closing, closing all of it off has been the project, but the ghostly weaponsmith. Well, um, like our cave is like eighty percent walled in, but the last bit has been like we can't get to the edge of the map to make a wall there because there's a hundred fish people standing there. That's kind of where we've been at. We can't get to those last couple walls, last couple edges to build those walls because there are so many fish people. So that's kind of why we've been on this magma kick, just to give them no place to hide. Now we can deal with them on land one by one, and that won't be too bad. So that's like, we need to like actually wall all that off now that we have an opportunity. It's the next step. Um, and then bah, da, bah, da, bah, here. More ghosts. Possessed by Nell. Okay, and then come down here. Look, all that's getting dug. Very cool. Slab. Uh, nope, nothing. Okay. Unchowder fish people pest control services. Yes, the the logo on the side of the the truck is just like magma, like a like a like a spigot, like a sink spigot with magma. <laughs> um. Okay. So then, yeah, they're they're trickling over. Let's go ahead. And, let's just give a kill order. You know what? Let's not sit around and wait. Let's be proactive. There's one, two, three. Is that it? 
Is that all of the fish people? Cool. So the, the trick with this edge in particular, because because they're all different. Like here, like this is a wall we've made. This was a way that people could keep, could come in. Now they can't. So it's a thing we can do. Uh, but here, I can't get away. I can't build a wall in these tiles because this tree is here. I can't chop down this tree because this water is here. I can't get the water out because it touches the edge of the map. And I can't build a wall there because of the... because of the... water. And I can't drop magma in here because of the tree. Like, this kind of sucks. And I'm not fully sure what we're going to do with it. Um, I mean, we can... I think what's going to happen... I mean, all of this needs to clear off, but let's do. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna channel some of this out. Let's do like this. Let's just make a big open pit. Um, and we'll we'll chop down the trees as well. Why not? Um, but I'm gonna have to make a, basically make a basin and then connect the water to the basin and let the water drain out and then rush in there and make the wall before enough water comes in to, to stop us. Or even just chopping down the trees. If we could chop down the trees, we'd be in a much better shape. Um, yes, Crusader Kings. I see you talking about Crusader Kings, and I am getting distracted. Uh, still proud of the time I accidentally died to the entire Holy Land during a crusade, decided to take my ball and go home, and it turns out the horrible loss was the single greatest battle of the crusade. Hilarious. <laughs> that does sound like Crusader Kings. Uh, some random twin daughters ended up being super powerful. One of their kids randomly was made Queen of Jerusalem. Yeah. Crusader Kings is real fun. We should do more of that. Uh, okay, so that's that's gonna be a thing. What are you all doing? Are you chasing a fish? Go to drill. Okay. Uh, you've killed the things I told you to kill. That's fine. Uh... There's one there. I see one. Confirm. The other thing I was going to do, now that we've kind of cleaned up a bit, um, we have these random pools of magma that are just kind of still here, basically. Um, and all of this garbage. Especially, like, all those corpses. I don't want to have to haul it over to our incinerator and, and then dump it when there's there's already magma right here. So what I'm going to do is be kind of cheeky and designate a dump here. And, and you can kind of just intersperse these. Let's do... We're going to do a dump here. Because that's a thing, yeah. Is that even the same? It's going to be the same. Or no, not the same. Okay. Uh, so we can have one up here. We can have one over here. Let's have one... Over here. Why not? Cool. Um, and then now all the trash that's in here, they can just dump them into these little lava pools instead of having to go all the way out here. Perfect. Dump. Yeah. Oh, there's also this section. There's also this. 
Um, and same thing here, like the fact that this water is up against the edge makes it difficult to deal with. But we're, we're getting there. Um, is this all dealt with? Oh, someone's coming. Eventually. Game of Thrones mod announced they're going to release in, in Crusader Kings. That's cool. I mean, Crusader Kings is basically a Game of Thrones simulator. There's probably a slab for us to place. Do, do furniture slab. Nope. Not yet. There isn't. Okay. Well, have we don't have we done our ten. We did our... Okay, we did those greaves. Jeez. Okay. I'm going to be right back for just a second. Let me... I don't want to just, like... Unforbid all this junk. Especially this. Like this? This one book has prevented us from closing this wall. And there's been so many fish people around here that I can't, like, fix it. So that's why we were flooding everything. Um, I'm also tempted to make a closer gear stockpile. Oh, blacksmith taken by a fey mood. That's kind of cool. Let's see. So this is kind of central. I'm going to do... I'm going to do this. Let's... I was going to try to dig this out for more seed stockpile, but we clearly don't need more seed stockpile space. Um, let's do, like, here. All right? Why not? Um, and this is going to be... Junk that's not trash, like all the all the spears and shields, we're gonna put them here instead of hauling them all further away. Um, like, like all this. Um, yeah. Also, I made a slightly fancier me being AFK thing. Where to go? Here.
I'm back. Okay. It doesn't actually mute me or anything. It just put my mic, my cam away. <laughs> At least so far. Okay. Now we're back to 16, of course. Okay. Oh, we're digging. Um, I am curious if anything's trying to sneak in here. Ex <laughs> Exclaminate. 90 Antmen, that's cool. Um, single digits of cave fish, people. Cool. <laughs> One human. <laughs> With temperature off? Jeez. No, we still have it here. Let's do it. I think we're good. I think we're good now. Now we're up to 25. That's about where we've been. I'll take it, honestly. Um, and then did this. Yeah, see, look, we drained it, and now it's, like, slowly... Of course, this is... this is going? Okay. Oh, and that's already done. Perfect. <laughs> Turn it off! Or actually... Well, it'll, it'll keep draining, but this is perfect. I like that. That's good. That's actually helpful. Um, but we'll... Hold this. This is just still draining, right? Slowly. There's even water up here. Wow. Uh, okay, and then all those trees got chopped. So we can just tell them to do those spots too. You designate everything as high priority, and then you don't get to tell them which high priority thing is the highest priority. <laughs> oh well. Um, how's our this? This is full. Yeah. Um, let's just do pull, pull. Oops. Pull. There. <laughs> Jeez. Um, there's this one, which is also quite full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull, pull. And there's also... Why is... Dusseth's corpse here? <laughs> Someone made it halfway to the... Incinerator with that corpse. Um, okay, and then the other incinerator is down here. Goodness. There's <laughs> all the buckets. Yep, yep. I did tell him to do that. Okay. Oh, and this all got dug. Perfect. Perfect. Buckets. Yes, buckets. Also, hi. We had too many buckets, so I threw away some buckets. Like, we still have too many buckets. <laughs> like, it was lie in particular i i had a job that was making lie on repeat and no we have too many buckets look at this um a job that made things that go in buckets was on repeat when it shouldn't have been and they weren't like dumping the buckets out into barrels so it was just single buckets everywhere and then i fixed it and then they dumped them all into barrels and then now they're just a million empty buckets. So yes, we have too many buckets. 
They probably buy buckets. I mean, people buy anything. Unless they're elves and you're selling things that are made out of wood and stuff. But otherwise, yes, we could sell buckets. Like, look at this. We have too much leather, even. We have too much everything. We have too much everything. Here, let's do... Just another... Leather. Just for the sake of it. And then also another... Finished goods. Yeah, if you try to sell elves wood things made out of wood, they'll be like, what have you done to this poor creature? And you know, you're trying to sell me it? And then they get all offended and like, they won't trade with you for the rest of the season. And they'll just leave. Um, I think anything that comes from a creature as well, like I was, I'm not fully clear, but like, um, like bones and, and leather and stuff, I think is bad too. Um, but wood for sure. Like, uh, if you have a crate made of wood with filled with stuff that they actually like, um, this is going to be much bigger, I bet. You fill, fill a crate with things they like, but the crate is made of wood. If you try to sell them the crate, they will hate it and they will like refuse everything that's in the crate because of the crate. But if you sell them all the individual things in the crate without the crate, like you can bring the crate to the trade depot and sell them everything out of the crate, they're fine. Just don't give them the crate. Elves. <laughs> Master Peak has been lost. Oh, we're dumping stuff, that's fine. Also, hi. The gang's all here. Uh. I need a magma forge. What is happening? More fish people! Hooray! <laughs> We're just gonna have to have people like patrolling down here or something. <laughs> yeah. Some people just straight up like. I'm gonna piss off the elves again and just and just go straight for it. Like, don't even try to satisfy them. Okay, well... Everyone ran off to go do something else. Oh, here they come! Goodness. See, they're just still... they're still coming. I'm gonna keep coming until we've finished all those walls. They're probably like looking for the water now. Like, where can we hide? Man, oh man. Here come our soldiers. Of course, now we're gonna be fighting near magma, which is terrifying in general. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Clean them up, please. Oh, did we? Oh, we lost someone. Are we? No, just come up here. We'll come up here. Orvin Child has been founded. That's cool. No one's going to have an averse reaction to that, I'm sure. Okay. 
that should be fine. And then we're dealing with the others over here. Look at all this. This is too many. Swords door found dead. No, you can't kill important people. Uh, Oh, dang. Did you have iron mail stuff? Yeah, see, you didn't have all your gear. And then you died. It's like now you're alone with three of them. You come back. Just, okay. You all station up here. this one. Come on, people. Okay, and then over here, you're fine. Don't see any more. I'm gonna station you over here, because I'm sure they're still trying to sneak in because of this stupid thing. Hopefully someone can actually pick up this book this time. This has been here for a very long time. People keep canceling trying to pick up the book. You can't build a thing there until someone's moved the book. Um, okay, so then of course this is just gonna fill up our, <laughs> our pool here. Or... That's interesting. I was behaving slightly differently than I would have expected. But okay. Okay, so I think we're okay. We lost a person. Someone's working on a strange mood somewhere. Uh, let's do on our slab. There's that. And then we're good. Okay. And then the only other spot was this. And this is all good to go. Yeah, okay. So let's just open this. Why not? All the magma. Why not? Okay, so this is this is going. This is a thing. I'm going to channel all this. Um, and then of course we need a way for it to get over. Something like this. do that. Um, okay, so they're all fine. They're all fine. It was one of these squads. 
Oh, look, another forgotten beast. Now I can't even... Fine. Uh, oh, why so many names? Agaz, Rulish, Rulish Kick, Stagshill, Avas. Gigantic hairy crab. Has thin wings, stretched skin, and has a bloated body. Its brass hair is long and wavy. Beware its poisonous gas. It's a big, stinky crab. And where are you? You were in cave three. That's fine. <laughs> a 377 year old giant sneaking crab. Lesser team of Nurgle, absolutely. Uh, agile and frail. It has killed five elves and a bunch of animals. Eeky Bearded Mauve. Nefola Leopard Wave. I like Leopard Wave. Rain Tender. Divine Cats. <laughs> um, okay, so it's just gonna be flying around down here, I guess. That's terrifying. I don't know if I like the image of a flying crab. Yeah, it's just gonna be down there. <laughs> That's a thing now. Um, Alright, I was looking at our squads because we lost a person and anyone else good at anything? Wrestler? You're an herbalist, that's fine. And you're all fine, okay. Why this squad? This is the squad that's struggling to equip itself. But, you know. That's fine. No one's fighting currently. And someone's. I always find it funny that like the corpse itself is the last thing they grab. They're grabbing all their clothes first, leaving the corpse there. slowly evaporate. And we're dumping here. Perfect. This is our last big pool. So then I want to make a stockpile here, and this will be a weapon stockpile, or I guess a, a weapons and armor. Oh. Um, and then, how do we deal with this? We... Just leave it like that. And maybe so this will be one ink dip junk. And we'll say this gives to this stockpile. Because this one only accepts, like, our good steel stuff, is that correct? All the stuff that we're not melting. Mm. No, it's got everything in there. Mm. Maybe not. Maybe we'll just... So we'll just have no links. And if anything, whatever the closest can go here, and that's fine. That's kind of how we'll deal with that. Do 
just to reduce foot traffic, basically. Oh, let's... Oh, I... Oh, okay. Well, that's fine, actually. That will... That'll deal with itself. <laughs> Burning the, the logs. It's fine. I think they're... Getting confused by it. I should turn... I should turn temperature back on. There. Done. Return. Because if... If something catches fire and then temperature is off, it will never finish burning. It's my understanding. But now since temperature is on, it will create smoke and do its whole thing. Mm hmm. What's all this? Well, like melted just melted copper, melted silver. Jeez. Okay. We still have our squad stationed. I would love it if someone dumped this. Might even just someone is able to make a wall there. There, we'll do we'll do our granite. Someone can figure out how to do that. Then I can, then I'll just do that, and then we'll be fine. There's a bunch of junk there still, but that's fine. Well, leave it be. Um, okay. Hopefully, so this will all evaporate. Wondering. Forgotten bees of any chaos god sound like a bad time. Uh, yeah, I'd agree. I mean, there are even are gods of chaos. But the gods don't make forgotten bees. The gods make other things. The gods can make weird, twisted creatures of their own. Um, but I think forgotten bees are, like, naturally occurring? Question mark? But yeah. Like, you can get some, you can get some weird creatures in this game. Uh, hopefully they can figure this out. It's all just just fun, yeah. Okay, I mean they can get right up next to the magma without problem. I don't know what the earlier problem was. Um, are you all okay? Let's. I tell them to go away. I want this done. That's all gonna take a minute to <laughs> to to evaporate, but that's fine. Um, can we chop this tree now? I would love to chop the tree. I can even... I'm not going to give him more channel jobs because I want him to focus on this one. Melting objects, making steel bars. Orvin Child cancels Pasture Raven. Huh. I just. Temporary junk. Um, want to keep dwarves here because I know things are going to try to sneak in. I know it. Be 
cool if someone worked on it. Everyone's here grabbing stuff. Yeah. What's all this? This is steel stuff. Let's reclaim that stuff. That's good stuff. Just random forbidden rocks. <laughs> Perish for real. Can I make sure you're okay? What are you doing? Hanging out. Okay. This child likes to find where everyone is trying to do their stuff and then just sit there and have a tantrum. Look at all this. Oh my god. <laughs> There's so much gear down here. It's obscene. Like this? Like we're gonna have to build a wall here. That's fine. I guess the real trick is like you have to Well We'll we'll be careful when we get there. It's like I screwed up here because there was there was water on the bottom level and then I built a wall on top. But the, the water on the bottom could still leak in. So I have to make sure not to do that again. Messages I don't need to respond to. Cool. <laughs> and these, there's still a couple under here. One look over here, but you're gonna get squished. You are facing imminent disaster. This is still flowing, right? I haven't broken anything. This appears to be fine. Yeah, perfect. Cool. We really are just pumping this magma all the way around the entire map. Hilarious. Um, okay. Ghost has been put to rest. Very good. Now... I want to drain this into here, but... This is just gonna make... Obsidian? Or what's... I mean, let's see what happens. We can mine out the obsidian there, at least. That won't be too hard. I also just need to take out those trees. I mean, we could t if we take out the trees, then we could dump more magma, and then the obsidian would seal it, and then that would be fine. Come on, oops! Someone's trying. Someone's coming. Is it you? 
now. Are you here for the book? Grab the book. No. No? Huh? Eh? No. <laughs> Almost. Um, I wonder if our little dump zones are getting used. Is there anything in here? A spear. Oh, look! A siege! That's exactly what we want, isn't it? Come on, okay. Let's do... No, I want you to stay there. Newbie Squad, you get to deal with the goblins! Isn't that exciting? Hopefully it's not a big one. It could be six? It could be six hundred! Be a bigger one, of course. Still haven't seen other things other than just the goblins themselves. Well, you finally started making your thing. Good. This isn't too bad. I mean, they can come on mounts, and they can come with like trolls and stuff, and they. They haven't done so yet. Looks like everyone's downstairs. Is that the king again? No, just a baron. about their equipment now. He's still... We're trying. Looks like they have... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're working on it. Cool. Okay, I think we're... I think they're almost good to go. We'll give them a... Give them a goblin test here. going, Baron. Hold on, Baron of Grizzle Orbs. I only have three here. Probably all we need, though. <laughs> here we go. Kill the goblin. Don't let it go by. Just let it run past. Why are you all so slow? There. Splat. <laughs> Master of the Bear Sphere, yes. Grizzle Worms. <laughs> oh, there they go. Is it still. yeah. Baron is just stuck in the frame. You keep trying to leave during a siege. Okay, this is looking like a squad. still a siege happening. One, two. Hit three. Okay. Well, let's go clean up.
Dust in the Gosp, Scorpion Veil. <laughs> Uneasy after seeing a goblin's dead body. And then dead. Perfect. Baron is still trying to leave. That's a different Baron, even. Stupid siege. Yeah, I mean, they're goblins. What do you expect? <laughs> they sent 12 people. What do you want? Blacksmith has created Kirost Neshat, a steel armor stand. I was excited for the first two words. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll just plop it. Things on all of these. You used steel for that? Come on. Armor stand. You. Okay. Um, okay, cool. So we're draining. Of course, they drained it. They did that one first, and now they can't get across, right? Here, we'll do construct floor. Mm, yeah, okay, so that made obsidian, that's fine. We can, we can just channel it again. That's fine. And these will probably do the same. Unless the water just miraculously goes around it somehow. Nope, okay. Or no, not from here. There and channel. My goodness. There. Okay. So we are draining this little pool because this is still connected to the wall here. This is the edge of the map. Water still flows in, but it's not very quick, I don't think. So I'm hoping that I can get water to drain out of here fast enough that I can come in here and chop down these trees the very least. This would rain a lot faster if I <laughs> did it the right way. Maybe someone can go over there. They could, what, they could go... I don't know how they get over there. Oh well. Um, I'm even just gonna designate these for chopping, and then as soon as someone can, they should. Um, okay, and then how are we doing down here? This is starting to cool off pretty well. This, tr this tree's gone. See, look, there's just less now. Um, so now... We'll do a slightly lower priority dig. But we'll just do like that. And drain all that into there. And then Oh! The wall got made! Thank goodness. Okay, so now we just need to do wall here, the wall here. And now I don't care about the stupid book. You are now outside of the fortress. See, this is... Uh, maybe not. This is a bad idea. 
The other thing you can do is use pumps, but that would require more fiddling. Hopefully we can just get this to drain fast enough. No, channel. water. Or I guess... From someone. like ones and twos much deeper than that and they have a hard time okay I keep I want her to get picked up on the mic I don't know if I can get her to make her sounds on cue no hi Meow. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> Where's everyone going? They're, yeah, they're not going to finish this. And this isn't getting any lower. I'm just making more water. That's the problem. here and fix this, please. Okay, well, how are we... How are we doing down here? going. Look at all this. This is fine. It's still all filling in. Okay, so that's all fine. For the moment. not what I intended. Of course, I didn't make myself any way to, like, close it back off again. Or anything smart like that. I really wish I could just remove these squares. Because I can't... I'm assuming I can't build... Yeah, blocked at this location. Can't build wall there, because there's tree there. I've just made a big swimming pool. Someone even coming? No. 
Yeah, see? I got too... too eager. good angle on her. Okay, well that's a little better. Her fur is gorgeous. When we first got her, she was um, like just jet black. Like black is black as a soot sprite. And as she's gotten older, she's gotten more more like orange and gray undercoatings. So she has a really, really interesting fur color. At first she had she was like jet black except for like a tiny little orange triangle on her forehead. Now she still has the triangle, but like she's getting more and more orange fur. I think she has stripes. I think she's been secretly a striped orange cat this whole time. Because it's like if you like she has kind of a symmetrical gray orange banding around her. I don't know, it's it's funny. Uh well, that was all the goblin stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well oh and this is all gonna leak into there. Oh, have I Have I done a bad thing? I may have done a bad thing. If all of this could just open up. Because this, I mean, this is there's a, a way out here. This is a drain for this whole area to start with. That's where I started with all this. She's a shiny cat. <laughs> Okay, okay, yeah, I'll I'll be wrapping up here. I I just uh um but yeah, good night. Thanks for hanging out. Too bad you can't like pick up dwarves and make them do stuff. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's kind of I mean that's like the most realistic and also the most frustrating thing. You can't be too angry because it's like it's what you're getting yourself into, but also like Come on! What are you doing? You literally have no job. You were here to make those, and then you gave up because of too much water. Mm. Fine, 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 fine. Bye bye. Yeah. See you. See you soon. Hey, look, Erish is throwing a tantrum. Why not? Hey, look, it's the library. <laughs> oh, he's already done. Okay, whatever. How many books do we have in our library these days? We have thirty-six books. That's cool. It just...
mean, the, we have four miners coming here. Just, they're going to take forever to get here. And this finish, this finished. Okay, so this wall is finally complete. It's one fewer spots. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure we opened with an Erish Tantrum too. Or, no, that's wrong. I want to do... Let's do like this. Channel from... Oh. Someone else is throwing a Tantrum too. Hooray. Then what? We can... nope. Hopefully, I mean, this is a nice big drying basin. Maybe this will... maybe this will help it dry out. Jeez. Here we go. You here to fix it? You gonna save me? Leave the one, fine. <laughs> okay. Just do that, that's fine. Faster! Drain faster! Like, it's just... It's coming in as fast as it's coming out. water. I mean, I, this is like tedious and stupid, but I am learning lessons. This is my figuring it out face. Here comes a miner. Bye. There's so much more digging to do. You're not going to do any of it. This, at least we can build wall on. 
Maybe that would be smart. It'll help, right? Maybe? Ah, oh, it's so stupid. It's five tiles and it's gonna flood everything back again. Well, I think that's a fine enough place to end, even though that's stupid. We're still still flooding here. Yeah, slowly. Okay, well. I want all of this to fill. That's kind of the, the secret, right? Just to make sure that this is at least all one even layer, and then we can build a wall on top of it. And then it will be sealed. It's like, here we're fine. Here we're fine. Freaking get rid of all of it. I don't care. Just do it all. Okay. Well, we'll we'll stop there. Still more stuff to figure out. My goodness. The saga of the fish people will be concluded shortly, I swear to you. Um, if, it, if it takes a hack, if it takes cheating, I will complete it. Um, and then yeah, um, we'll, we'll think about what we're doing with our next fortress. Let's do something fun. Um, let's, let's, let's find a workshop mod to, to do something weird with. Um, I think that sounds cool. Um, there's all sorts of stuff that don't belong into our fortress going on in there, so... Let's make something weird. Um, yeah, uh, today's Thursday, right? So more Sekiro on Saturday, more Dwarf Fortress on Monday. More of the same. Um, if you want to see something specific, then just, I don't know, say it somewhere. Or if you just want more of this, then click a button or something. You know what to do. Um, so yeah, I'll see you around. Be kind.